What if you could stay calm and think clearly when everyone else is stressed out? Life can be tough, but there's a simple way to handle it all with ease. Today, we'll share nine stoic secrets that will help you stay strong and outsmart everyone around you. If you find this helpful, a thumbs up and a quick comment would mean a lot. Thank you for your support. 1. Stop talking about challenges. Everyone faces problems. It's just part of life. But what really matters is how you handle them. The Stoics believe that instead of talking about your problems or complaining, you should focus on finding solutions. Imagine you're working on a difficult project. Complaining about how hard it is won't make it easier. In fact, it might make it feel worse. But if you break the project down into smaller steps and work on them one by one, you'll start making progress. You'll also build your confidence and learn how to handle tough situations better. The Stoics saw challenges as opportunities to grow stronger. So the next time you face something tough, try not to vent or dwell on it. Take a deep breath, think about what you can do to improve the situation, and take action. By focusing on what you can control, you'll not only solve the problem, but also build quiet strength that speaks louder than words. 2. How to keep your secrets close that not everything needs to be shared with everyone. The Stoics believed that your thoughts, dreams and feelings are personal treasures. When you share too much, you might open yourself up to unnecessary harm or judgment. Think of your secrets like a valuable treasure chest. You wouldn't leave it out for anyone to take. You'd keep it safe, only opening it for those you truly trust. The same goes for your personal thoughts and dreams. By being careful about what you share and with whom, you protect your inner world. For example, if you're working on a big idea or goal, it's tempting to tell everyone about it. But sharing too soon might invite doubts, criticism, or even unwanted advice. Keeping your plans close until you're ready can help you stay focused and motivated. Remember, it's not about being secretive, it's about protecting your peace of mind and creating a safe space where your ideas can grow. By choosing wisely who you let in, you keep control over your life and your path. 3. Let actions speak for your achievements. It feels good to celebrate your successes, but the Stoics believed that true fulfillment comes from within, not from the praise of others. Instead of telling everyone about what you've achieved, focus on letting your actions speak for themselves. Imagine you've worked hard on a project and it turned out great. It's tempting to share your success with everyone, but constantly seeking recognition can lead to arrogance and make others resentful. The Stoics believe that your work should be its own reward. When you do something well, let your results do the talking. Think of a gardener who spends years growing a beautiful garden. The vibrant flowers and lush greenery are proof of their hard work. They don't need to shout about it. Similarly, when you focus on doing your best quietly and consistently, people will naturally notice your dedication and skill. By keeping your achievements to yourself, you stay humble and grounded. You also avoid the trap of relying on others for validation. Instead, you build confidence from within. Knowing that your true worth isn't measured by applause, but by your character and contributions. 4. Keep your future plans under wraps. It's exciting to dream big and think about the future. When you have a goal or a plan, the natural urge is to share it with friends, family or even on social media. But the Stoics taught that there's real power in keeping your plans to yourself. Talking too much about what you intend to do can actually make it harder to achieve your goals. Imagine you're working on a new project, like starting a side business or learning a new skill. It's tempting to tell everyone about it because you're excited and want their support. But when you share your plans too early, you open yourself up to other people's opinions, doubts and expectations. This can create unnecessary pressure and distractions that can take your focus away from what really matters. Making progress. Think of a chess player. They don't announce their next move to the opponent. Instead, they keep it to themselves, carefully considering each step before taking action. The same strategy applies to your goals. When you keep your plans private, you maintain control over your actions and avoid the noise that comes from outside influences. Another reason to keep your plans under wraps is that talking about them can give you a false sense of accomplishment. Sometimes, 
Just saying your goals out loud can make you feel like you've already done something significant, which can reduce your drive to actually follow through. By staying quiet, you keep that internal motivation strong and focused on the real work that needs to be done. It's not about being secretive or distrustful. It's about being smart and protecting your energy. When you keep your goals private, you're better able to stay on course, make thoughtful decisions, and avoid unnecessary stress. And when you finally achieve what you set out to do, the results will speak for themselves without needing any validation from others. So the next time you're tempted to share your plans, take a moment to pause. Ask yourself if sharing will truly help you or if it might create more pressure and distraction. By keeping your cards close to your chest, you give yourself the best chance to succeed on your own terms. Five, stay away from gossip. In a world full of social media and constant chatter, it's easy to get caught up in gossip. But the Stoics believe that focusing on your own growth is far more valuable than spending time talking about others. Gossip not only wastes your energy, but it also spreads negativity and can harm your relationships. Imagine you're at work and someone starts talking about a co-worker who's been struggling with a project. It might be tempting to join in and share your thoughts, but what does that really achieve? Instead of helping the situation, gossip often creates more tension and division. The Stoics understood that our energy is best spent on improving ourselves, not on judging or criticizing others. Every minute you spend talking about someone else is a minute you're not working on becoming a better version of yourself. Think of it like watching a reality TV show. You're caught up in the drama, but it's not adding any real value to your life. Instead, turn that focus inward. Ask yourself what you can do to improve your own actions and character. The Stoics also believed in creating a positive environment around you. When you choose to avoid gossip and negativity, you contribute to a more supportive and uplifting atmosphere. Imagine a workplace where everyone is focused on their own tasks and helping each other succeed. That's the kind of environment where true growth and fulfillment happen. So, the next time you hear gossip, resist the urge to join in. Choose the stoic path by focusing on your own journey. Instead of tearing others down, lift yourself up by working on your own goals and challenges. By rising above gossip, you not only find inner peace but also inspire others to do the same. Remember, true strength comes from within, not from putting others down. By keeping your focus on self-improvement, you'll cultivate a sense of calm and purpose that no amount of gossip can ever provide. 6. Practice unspoken kindness and doing good deeds feels great, but the Stoics believed that true virtue lies in doing good for its own sake, not for recognition or praise. Instead of telling everyone about the kind things you do, focus on the quiet satisfaction that comes from helping others without expecting anything in return. Imagine you help a friend move into a new apartment or donate to a charity. It's natural to want to share what you did, hoping others will see you as generous or caring. But when you talk about your good deeds too much, you risk turning them into something more about your own ego than about the act of kindness itself. The Stoics taught that the real reward for doing good is simply knowing you did the right thing. Think of it like a stream that flows through a forest, quietly nourishing everything around it. The stream doesn't need to announce its presence, its actions speak for themselves. When you perform acts of kindness without looking for recognition, you're like that stream, making a positive impact without needing to be noticed. In today's world, where social media encourages us to share every good thing we do, it can be challenging to keep your good deeds private. But the Stoics believed that by focusing on internal satisfaction rather than external praise, you cultivate genuine compassion and selflessness. You find joy in the act of giving itself, not in the approval or applause that might follow. The next time you do something kind, resist the urge to tell everyone about it. Instead, take a moment to reflect on the good you've done and enjoy the quiet feeling of fulfillment that comes from knowing you've made a positive difference. Let your actions be your testament and let the impact of your kindness speak for itself. Remember, true virtue isn't about being noticed. It's about living a life of integrity and compassion, whether or not anyone else is watching.
By practicing unspoken kindness, you'll build a deeper sense of inner peace and make the world a better place, one quiet act at a time. 7. Guard your weaknesses. Everyone has weaknesses, but the Stoics believe that while it's important to recognize them, it's just as important to keep them private. Broadcasting your vulnerabilities can leave you open to harm or manipulation. Instead, the Stoics taught that true strength comes from quietly working on your weaknesses, turning them into strengths over time. Think about a fortress with strong walls. If the walls have weak spots and those are known to outsiders, the fortress becomes vulnerable to attack. The same goes for your personal weaknesses. If you openly share them with others, you might find that some people use that information against you, whether intentionally or not. Let's say you get easily overwhelmed by stress. If you constantly talk about how stressed you are, people around you might start piling more work on you, knowing you'll have a hard time saying no. But if you quietly work on developing coping mechanisms, like deep breathing, time management, or taking regular breaks, you can manage stress better without letting others know it's a challenge for you. The Stoics believed that it's okay to acknowledge your flaws privately, but when it comes to weaknesses, it's wiser to work on them silently. This way, you protect yourself from those who might exploit your vulnerabilities. Instead of seeking pity or validation, focus on building inner strength and resilience. The next time you notice a weakness in yourself, don't feel the need to announce it to the world. Take a quiet moment to reflect on how you can improve. Maybe it's practicing patience, learning to say no, or building confidence in a specific area. Whatever it is, work on it steadily and let your actions speak louder than your words. By guarding your weaknesses and focusing on self-improvement, you'll cultivate a quiet confidence that will empower you to face any challenge. Remember, true strength isn't about showing your flaws to the world. It's about overcoming them with resilience and determination. 8. Nurture your dreams in silence and dreams are precious, and the Stoics believe that sometimes it's best to keep them close to your heart. When you share your deepest dreams with others too soon, you risk exposing them to doubt, negativity, or even ridicule. By keeping your dreams private, you create a safe space where they can grow and develop without interference. Imagine you have a big dream, maybe starting a business, writing a book, or traveling the world. It's exciting to talk about it, but when you share your dream too early, you might hear things like, are you sure you can do that? Or what if it doesn't work out? These comments can plant seeds of doubt, making you question yourself and your abilities. The Stoics believed that dreams are like seeds. When you plant a seed, you don't immediately expose it to the elements. Instead, you protect it, water it, and give it time to grow. The same goes for your dreams. By keeping them to yourself, you allow them to take root and flourish without being trampled by outside opinions. Another reason to keep your dreams private is that it helps you stay motivated. When you share your dreams, you might feel a sense of satisfaction just from talking about them, which can reduce your drive to actually achieve them. By keeping your dreams to yourself, you stay focused on the work that needs to be done, rather than getting caught up in the fantasy of the future. It's not about being secretive, it's about being protective of something valuable. Your dreams are a reflection of your deepest desires and aspirations. They deserve to be nurtured with care and patience. As you work quietly towards making them a reality, you'll find that your inner motivation and confidence grow stronger. The next time you're tempted to share your dream with others, take a moment to reflect. Ask yourself if sharing will help you achieve it or if it might create unnecessary distractions. By keeping your dreams close, you protect them from doubt and negativity, allowing them to grow into something truly meaningful. Remember, the journey to achieving your dreams is a personal one. By nurturing your aspirations in silence, you give yourself the best chance to turn them into reality on your own terms. 9. Embrace the power of solitude. In a world where we're constantly connected and bombarded with noise, solitude is often overlooked. But the Stoics believed that true strength and clarity come from spending time alone. Solitude isn't about loneliness. It's about creating a space where you can connect with yourself, reflect on your life, 
and build inner strength. Think of solitude as a special time to recharge. Just like your phone needs to be plugged in to regain energy, your mind and spirit also need moments of quiet to renew. When you're always surrounded by others or distracted by social media, it's easy to lose sight of what really matters. But in solitude, you can clear away the noise and focus on what's truly important. The Stoics saw solitude as a time for deep reflection. It's a chance to think about your values, your goals, and how you're living your life. Without the distractions of the outside world, you can explore your thoughts and feelings in a way that's honest and meaningful. This self-awareness is key to personal growth and resilience. But solitude isn't just about thinking. It's also about finding peace. When you spend time alone, you give yourself a break from the pressures and demands of everyday life. This quiet time can help you manage stress, gain perspective and feel more centered. It's like hitting the reset button on your mind. Not everyone understands the value of solitude. Some might see it as a sign of loneliness or even social awkwardness. But the Stoics knew that solitude is a powerful tool for building self-reliance and inner strength. When you learn to be content in your own company, you become less dependent on others for your happiness. The next time you feel overwhelmed or stressed, consider taking a break from the noise. Find a quiet place where you can be alone, whether it's in nature, your room, or even just a peaceful corner. Use this time to reflect, recharge and connect with yourself. Embrace the power of solitude as a way to build inner peace and resilience. Remember, Solitude isn't about isolating yourself, it's about giving yourself the space to grow. By making time for quiet reflection, you tap into your inner wisdom and build a foundation of strength that will carry you through any challenge. Conclusion. By embracing these nine stoic keys, you're not just learning to outsmart others, you're building a stronger, wiser and more resilient version of yourself. Each of these principles teaches you how to handle life's challenges with calmness, clarity, and purpose. Whether it's keeping your plans private, practicing unspoken kindness, or finding strength in solitude, these stoic secrets help you navigate the world with confidence and peace. Thanks for joining us on this journey through stoic wisdom. If you found value in these keys, a thumbs up and a comment would be greatly appreciated. It helps us keep bringing you content like this. And if you're ready to keep growing and improving, don't forget to subscribe for more insights. Keep practicing, keep growing, and let these stoic principles guide you to a life of inner strength and fulfillment.